This is the extended version of How Do They View This Relationship. Hello, I'm Avalon Kisby and I welcome you to my YouTube channel where I try and to add value and a little bit more insight into some of the very short readings that I get to do on TikTok. So very much welcome you here and invite you to follow if this is something that you enjoy as I do try and post here daily. So what an incredibly beautiful set of cards have come out into this reading so far. This person is absolutely smitten, as I have already said. The first two cards that came out were the Lovers and the Four of Wands. So they are head over heels is the way that I would put this. To me, when I'm looking at these two cards, and actually as somebody has already commented on TikTok, when I looked at this card, the Lovers card, it does, it looks like Beauty and the Beast type of vibes. And in fact, when we put these two cards together, does it not look like something out of a fairy tale? With the castle, with these beautiful um, floral pillars. To me, it looks like a wedding scene. I often see the, the Four of Wands as a wedding card. And for many of you, it may very well come to that, a proposal of some kind. So out of all decks, this is my absolute favorite lover's card. To me, it shows, it has the passion, it has the romance. It feels to me like the emperor and the empress stealing a private moment together. However, of course, we do have the angel in the background, which is to say that this is a very protected union. Um, also with the curtain, it could be something that is being kept quite private at this time. You might be very selective on those that you are sharing information about this relationship too, almost like wanting to protect it. Um, both of you may be very protective over this. Um, do you see her little red shoes? They are to kind of indicate the teasing aspect of it. And, you know, again, what I'm, that, you know, that the sexuality of it, that the, the magnetism of this, of this union. So here with the Four of Wands, as all of you I'm sure now know, this is also known as the 1111 card. So it is a card of divine counterparts. Um, some people want, may think this as like a twin flame or as a high level soulmate. So what is this person feeling about this relationship? They are dead serious about this relationship. Um, this has so many of the aspects, if not all of the aspects, that they would have wanted within a relationship. They're going to take it extremely seriously and um, they probably see you as a soulmate or a divine counterpart if they are, if they're aware of that type of dynamic in a relationship. Now here, this was the bottom of the deck energy here with the seven of pentacles. This is a card of manifestation and of a card of, uh, as I've probably said before, um, taking time, having the patience to see your manifestations come through. This person here at one point in time may have, may have planted a seed or a sapling and it has taken years and years and years to have grown into this incredibly beautiful tree. And yet they've been patient in, in waiting for it to come to be. This person, I get the feeling, may have been single for quite some time. Or certainly waiting for the right relationship to come in before um, committing to anything of this nature. Again, we see the apples which are uh, symbolic of, you know, temptation there. Now, it's also saying that all of their manifestations may feel like they're falling into place for them at this time. So it may f they may feel like not only is love falling into place for them, but finances might be falling into place. It might be a really good, prosperous time for them in their lives. And they may view you as their little lucky charm. Now, here we have the... Eight of Wands here. Now this often is a card of travel, so there could be travel involved with this. This is also a card of communication, so they may believe that there is really good communication between the two of you. This card I'm sure came out yesterday. Remember I was saying that it kind of gives off the vibes of deer in headlight? So this is a very fast moving energy with this card. So they may not have expected, although they planted these seeds long ago, these wishes and desires, 
when it actually happens or has happened, then it catches them unaware. These are meant to be symbolic of Cupid's arrows. So they might have been felt like they have been hit by Cupid's arrow. And like I say, they are absolutely head over heels, smitten by this relationship. You are everything that they have ever wanted in a partner. And I, this feels very, this feels um, like you both feel the same way about each other. Now with this 10 of wands, this person, like I say, it, it does give off single vibes to me in a lot of ways. And I feel that they, ha they, that they have carried a lot of burdens by themselves. Not only have they carried a lot of burdens by themselves, but they are somebody who would want to carry your burdens, to take your burdens on, to ease your load is what I, is what I truly feel here. And again, um, you know, it, it, it kind of reminds me of a few of the readings that we've done recently. The one where... Um, what is the potential outcome of this relationship? It, it feels like that energy again. Okay, someone who's wanting to be the provider, you know, looks like they're coming home and wanting to make sure that everything is good and taken care of at home. So we then pulled some more cards. The other cards that we have received were the King of Wands, Temperance, and the Hanged Man. Now, the King of Wands, again, this does talk about the passion, for sure. But it also talks about potentially understanding that there is a spiritual connection, too. The King of Wands is always a really good omen. Um, it's someone who is not afraid to share their feelings, um, but they also want to be the protector and the provider. Like I say, it, it, it feels like, this person feels like the blend of the 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 king of wands and the emperor and certainly if it's if it's the same reading or the same people energy that i'm picking up on then they also come across as the king of pentacles in some of the previous readings that we've done we see this little salamander down here as well so that's another a little omen a good omen there too okay so this person is not afraid to go after what it is that they want. They are also a problem solver. And if we look back at the four of, let me see, here we go. If we look back at the four of wands, do you see that there's like little bridges that are going across? So as with most fairy tales, there usually are some challenges to, to cross before you get to you know, the happily ever after. But this person is one of those that will not, they will think of a solution. Their motto might be something like, there is no problems, there's only solutions, and they will come up with some sort of solution. Very, They're very creative in their, in their mind. So as far as temperance goes, like I say, they may have waited a very long time to be with you. The temperance card is talking about patience. It is also talking about deep, deep healing. And you see that we have this well here. Not only are they dipping into the, the depths of the well, but they are actually underneath the water at this time as well. So they have done huge inner work. They may also see and recognize that you have done huge inner work. Feeling like you have both evolved to this level where you are both going to be the best versions of yourself and it's going to be a very compatible healing energy that you share between you. The hanged man. And when this first came out, I was like, how can that be? You know, what is this about? It's stuck. Oh no, it's not that at all. It's that they're not going anywhere. They are not going anywhere. They so desire this relationship that they are, they're going to see this through. Okay, this is a big deal to them. Let's pull some more cards, okay? Let's see what else, Spirit. What else can you tell us about this relationship? This feels like such a beautiful energy. But let's have a look, Spirit. What can you tell us about this relationship? How do they feel about this relationship? We have the Page of Cups. And maybe one more card, please, Spirit. Oh, we've got two cards. We have... The Sun card and 
we have the horned one. Okay. Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, I know that you have seen my readings before. So the Page of Cups to me is a card of miracles. It's of expecting the unexpected. They may view this as, like I said, this may have felt very unexpected for them, even though they have wished it, they have dreamt about it, they have so hoped for it. But when it actually comes, it's it's like a it's like a surprise. And so, um, this, yeah, this is the card. Expect the unexpected. Miracles, you feel like a miracle to them. You are everything that they've ever wanted. And I feel very much vice versa, how you both feel about each other. Now with the horned one, so in a regular tarot deck, this would be called the devil. Um, however, I actually prefer this. I actually prefer this deck. There is a fire that is burning within them for you okay they are waiting patiently for for this you know if you do live at, at a distance and you don't get to see each other very often like i say there is passion brewing under the surface and this person will wait will absolutely wait for this um it also does suggest you know the horned one you know that, like i'm talking about the sexual connection between you is going to be very passionate okay and they certainly can pick up on that energy and then we have this beautiful sun card. Um, the Divine Masculine is who I always see with the sun card. So this is a card again of healing and of happiness. In your presence, in each other's presence, this is how you feel. You feel happy, you feel healed, you feel, you may, or you, I'm sure that the, 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 the level of people that I'm talking to right now within this collective are already healed independently and feeling whole independently but when you when you come together it's it just feels more complete than your wholeness singularly if that even makes sense there's probably isn't the right voc vocabulary but that's what it's feeling like to me so let me pull just as a final let me pull maybe just a couple of cards here spirit what do we need to know about this relationship like it feels so precious what can you tell us about this relationship? Confident and radiant. Yes, that's how it, it does. It feels radiant like the sun. And look, i got to show you. I just turned this over. Look what's at the bottom. We have twin flame card. Okay. But they're radiant like the sun. Feeling happy and healthy and glowing. It feels like you're coming, both of you are coming into the best versions of yourself here. And to move forward confidently within this relationship... Or to know that this is coming for you if it has not yet arrived. Expect, expect this. This card here, where are we? Page of Cups. Expect the unexpected. Expect the miracles. Expect the best for yourself. Because you are, you most certainly are worthy of, of the very, very best. And what I'm reading, the caliber of people that I'm reading for, the counterparts, are, are of the highest they're of the highest okay so again i do invite you to follow me if you haven't already sending each of you my youtube family sending each of you so much love happy beginning to the weekend and um just so much love to each of you